very good comparison this time is coming on this video, so watch it until the end as it will be very interesting, also subscribe like and share the video, click the bell button for more notifications and let's see what we have here. From one side we compare the largest model of D8 Genesis series of New Holland, the brand new T8 435 Genesis with PLM intelligence, against its tween tractor, the largest model of Magnum series of case, the AFS 400, both compares on wheeled editions, both are almost the same, or not? Here is the thing, they have some basic differences, and we will see them right now, also we will recommend to you which of the two should you choose and of course why, so enough talk, let's start. As about the engine, both tractors wear the same engine, the FPT Cursor 9 common rail diesel of 8.7 liters and 6 cylinders, stage V, so as about the engine size they come equal. The gross power of both tractors is at 396 horses, they can touch the 415 horses with power management and both they can boost at 435 horses max, so the overall power performance is almost the same. The peak torque of both tractors is at 1850 Nm on 1300 to 1400 revolutions per minute, so here they both come equal until now. The PTO power of case starts from 345 horses and it can touch the 380 horses max, Holland's is almost the same, starting from 340 horses and it can touch the 382, so here is the first small difference, Holland's starts from 340 horses, Magnum starts from 345 minimum. The rear hitch lift of Holland is at 10,927 kg with the front one touching the 5,810 max, Magnum's is at 10,929 kg with the front one lower than Holland's, at 4,070 kg max, and here we have the second basic difference, the Holland has about 2 tons higher front hitch lift. Holland's top speed is at 40 to 50 km per hour, with 2000 revolutions per minute of rated engine speed, wearing the Ultra Command full power shift or the Auto Command continuously variable transmission and a max fuel tank capacity of 609 to 647 liters accordingly the transmission we mentioned. Some of the cabine innovations are semi-active cab suspension system, blue power auto comfort leather seat, or red for case, adjustable side winder with heating and active ventilation, footrests, black thick pile cab carpet, cool box, front right side and rear sun visors, telescopic adjustment steering wheel, ultra armrest, Intelliview 12 monitor, Magnums is the same and it's called AFS, USB ports, I'd winder ultra armrest for a mobile phone or tablet holder, front and back cameras, CD flat screen display position directly in front of the steering wheel, Magnums one is placed on the right column and not on the steering wheel, that's another difference, factory installed remote locking and immobilizer, 24 LED lights, Magnums is up to 22. Heated wing mirrors and entire wing mirror electronic laterally extension, blue power roof insignia and more, case from the other side has the same speed too, at 40 to 50 km per hour, with 2000 revolutions per minute of rated engine speed also, wearing the power drive or CVX drive transmission and a max fuel tank capacity 617 liters with CVX drive or 678 liters with power drive transmission. And here we have the third difference, Case has slightly higher tank capacities than Holland's transmissions, the innovations are almost the same but with the small differences that we mentioned previously at Holland. So, we saw the small differences between these two, let's now see the size of both. The basic weight of Holland is at 12,514 kg or 13,039 kg with Terig light suspended front axle and it can touch the 18,000 kg of max permissible as a wheeled tractor. Case from the other side is slightly lighter, starting from 11,730 kg basic or 12,190 kg with suspended front axle and it can touch the 18,000 kg of max permissible also, so another one serious difference is that Holland is a heavier tractor. The wheelbase of Genesis is at 3.55 meters, Magnums is smaller, at 3.15 meters. The max length of Genesis is at 6.47 meters, Magnums is smaller, at 6.29 meters but it can touch the 6.57 meters with heavy duty axle on, so Holland is slightly longer without heavy duty axle. The minimum width of Genesis is at 2.53 meters, Magnums is omzot the same, at 2.55 meters. The height of the cub of Genesis is at 3.43 meters, Magnum is slightly shorter, at 3.37 meters, this depends also on tires, but Holland comes in variably taller. So as a conclusion we will mention the basic differences, Holland has higher front hitch lift, 
different transmissions with smaller tank capacities, it is heavier tractor than its twin Magnum, also it is slightly longer, taller with larger wheelbase, the size on crawler editions can be different, here we compare the wheeled ones. Case from the other side starts with 5 more horses on PTO than Holland's. If we can recommend one of the two, this can be the case because it has the same performance but it is a lighter tractor, so it can run better in the fields with almost the same output, so our money goes to case. Also we see it more attractive as about the appearance. Holland from the other side has more economical tank capacities on its transmissions, and it can have an advantage on tug of war matches as a heavier tractor, what would you choose? Waiting your comments, subscribe us for more, until next time, have fun.